Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you in ASP.NET how to display data from database with images into details view. And here we got the final output. Notice the image is binded into this details view control. And these images I have stored in the images folder. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Just for the time saving, I have already created a new project with the images folder. Notice the images folder contains two images. And the actual path of these images I have stored in the SQL Server database table. Let's visit my SQL Server Management Studio. We'll check the table and the column names before writing the coding part. And this is a table user registration which contains four columns ID, username, password, and profile pic. And these are the two images I have stored in the project in the images folder. Now my aim is I want to bind this data with images into details view control. Let's start the coding part. Now in the source code, I'm adding center tag h1 how to bind data with images into details view horizontal line after the horizontal line I'm adding the details view control open toolbox the data folder I'm expanding that one details view I'm adding details view here after adding the details view let's open solution explorer now in this project I'm adding adword.net entity data model right click the project name add adword.net entity data model I'm selecting that one the model name is user reg click ok and from the model contents, I'm selecting the first option EF Designer from database. Click next. I'm creating a new connection. I'm adding the SQL server name. After adding the server name, I'm selecting the database name. Sample DB. Test connection is succeeded. Okay. Okay. And here we got the connection string of the sample DB. And the connection string name is a sample db entities and I'm saving this connection string in the web.config file. Click next and the entity framework I'm using 6.x. Click next. And from the selected database objects, I'm expanding the tables as well as dbo. The table name is a user registration which is this one I'm selecting click finish and here we got the user registration model is added into our project now switch to the source mode now in the details view I'm adding the property allow paging is equal to true by default, the details view control displays only single record at a, at a time. So I need the pagination. That's the reason I'm adding the allow paging is equal to true. After that, switch to the design mode. Double click the details view control. It will generate the page index changing event of the details view. Now in this page index changing event, details view one dot page index is equals to e dot new page index new page index after that I'm creating a new method private wide get EMP details 
Now here I'm binding the data into the details view control. I'm adding the sample DB entities as D is equals to new sample DB entities. Details view one dot data source is equals to SD dot user registrations dot to list method. Let's bind the details view details view one dot data bind method. After binding the table into this details view control, I'm calling the get emp details method this dot get emp details method in this page index changing event as well as let's copy this if not page dot is post back and pasting this dot get emp details method let's check the results on the browser google chrome And here we got the output of that code which contains a user ID, username, password and profile pic. But I want the profile pic image also which I have stored in the project folder. Now I will add a new column for the image field to add images. Switch to the coding part. Stop debugging. source mode in the details view fields I'm adding template field now in this template field I'm adding item field Now in this item template, I am adding the image control, open toolbox, image control, image URL is equals to, I am deleting the double quotes, I am adding single quotes, percentage, hash, eval, between double quotes I am adding the image URL path which is a profile pic copy this one and post here here I got one extra single code which I am deleting let's add the height and the width height is equals to 100 width is equals to 100 that's it Let's check the final results on the browser. The image field is added or not. Google Chrome. And here we got the final output. Notice the image is binded into this details field control. And these images I have stored in the images folder. That's it.